What is up, my dudes and chicks? Thank you guys so much for watching. Library Jesus here, bringing you episode number three of our Shadowverse Champions Battle Let's Play, and I am still so pumped. So before we begin, I was going to say, uh, you guys let me know in the comments. Shout out to Chris GG and Corey uh, for telling me that um, apparently Reddit and a lot of other Shadowverse players hates runecraft cards the cards that i was excited to use they say that they aren't very well liked because of their play style it's very annoying it's not very like interactive it's just them kind of setting up and then wrecking and i really don't like playing like with my experience with other card games i don't like playing those annoying meta decks like if a deck annoys me from playing against it i don't want to be that person and use it myself thinking about Yu Gi Oh and the sylvan cards the Sylvan cards. Anyway, so for this playthrough, I think I'm still going to use the Runecraft cards. So I don't have any problem annoying the NPCs, but I am going to be looking out for those Bloodcraft cards even more now because that may be what I end up using when I play online or when I'm playing the mobile app. But I'm open to anything. Who knows? Playing through this, I might end up liking Portalcraft more. I might end up liking... Well, I heard Havencraft's annoying too, but I might end up liking the Shadowcraft. Who knows? We'll see. Anyway, let's go ahead and start episode three. So in the last episode, they did mention we were going to battle Kai, and I can't remember what kind of cards he has from the show, but like we saw in the last episode, once we defeat somebody with a certain class, we're then able to use those cards. So it looks like we, it wants us to talk to her first. This is not Kai, so maybe we have to battle her first, and then once we've completed these two missions, then Kai will appear, aka the super genius. Uh, you want me to join the Shadow Book Club? Oh, really? There's one? There is one? Oh, yeah, I'm really interested in it. Yeah, let's join. Her, her friend's speaking up now. It just says, the elf user student. Okay, so she uses elf cards like Mimori. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, um, the track and field club. Okay, so she's already in the track and field club. So she doesn't, she's like, you can't join. You're already in a club. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry. Maybe she'll join if we battle her. Yeah, let's go ahead and battle her. So let's see what cards she uses. Hmm? You want to battle? Okay. She's really good at making comebacks. Okay. Okay, so she's really good at making, like, um... I guess like reversals essentially like it looks like she's gonna lose and then she wins so I wonder what class she uses oh she uses vampires okay so once we beat her we can use vampires as well aka bloodcraft nice I was hoping we would get it early on so I could get a look at what those cards actually do like I said I'm only interested in them because uh my favorite character in the show Lucia uh uses them but I've only seen him use use them in one duel and the show isn't the best about explaining what uh, the cards actually do. Like, the battles look cool, but um, it's not like Yu-Gi-Oh! where they, they go really heavy in the explanation. So some people might actually prefer that. Yu-Gi-Oh! can get very uh, confusing at times in the show, because they're just spending, you know, so long just explaining the cards' effects. And if you already know the effects, then it's like, seriously, I already know all of this. Alright, so we can only play... Let's go ahead and play... Maybe we should go for... That'll do two damage. Let's go ahead and just play fighter. Yeah, in this hand, it looks like we have a lot of cards we can't use until we have more play points. So, not a good, not a good first hand, I gotta say. Okay, it looks like she did heal up. I was wondering if vampires did that. I, I figured it would just make sense for them. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do two damage to... Uh... Actually, I might save that one. I'm going to go ahead and just attack her directly. And end my turn. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming that Dragoncraft, like, one of their things is just to go ahead and attack directly. That's how we ended up beating, uh, like, we lost to that person twice in the last episode. But we eventually beat him that third time because I was just attacking directly as soon as I could. Just got to go at him with raw power. So this is the one that does six damage to one card... Oh, we only have damage cards. I guess I'll go ahead and use this one to knock this one out. And unfortunately, we're just going to have to end our turn there. There is not much we can do. Alright, yeah, there she is healing again. 
But she's doing damage to herself, too. Doing damage to... Taking damage to do damage is what it looks like. Yeah, bye. Um... So we could summon Disaster Dragon. After it attacks... On the turn that it attacks, it's done. It gains plus two. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, we may just go ahead and summon, and then... Let's see, we can evolve three times, so I'm just gonna go ahead and evolve this guy. And also, as you guys pointed out in the comments, yes, uh, once you evolve on the turn that you're summoned, you get to where you can attack on your first turn, but you can't attack directly on your first turn. Uh, which make it makes sense. It really makes sense. We'll go ahead and knock this one out. Alright, and end our turn here. Yeah, I really appreciate you guys uh, telling me more about the game in the comments. Like I said, I'm completely new to Shadowverse, so any any tips that you guys guys can give me, that definitely helps. You also told me about, um, well in Japanese it's a uh, kakse, I think you said it meant overflow. Uh, those are effects, if you guys don't know, those are the effects that you can activate only after you have seven play points. Um, so I've seen those a couple times, I, I didn't really know what they meant. Alright, so we have six here, so we can do... Let's go ahead and just summon two while we can. And go ahead and end our turn. Uh-oh, what's this do? Two damage to the leader, three damage to a follower. Yeah, she is really... I guess that's the vampires, and honestly, I don't like play styles where you do damage to yourself to, to like, do damage to your enemy, so... Honestly, I'm wondering if I am going to like the vampires after all. So do I want to go with Dread Dragon? It does 4 damage to one player, or to one follower when it enters the field. We'll get rid of one of these bats. And... I'll go ahead and evolve, just so we can attack the other bat. Go ahead and wipe out her field. Although I'm afraid that next turn, she's just gonna... Just gonna start doing damage and just go ahead and knock out her Dread Dragon quickly. Okay, she didn't. Okay, she does have ward though. Oh, not for long. Okay, this is this is going really well now. Uh, go ahead and summon Dragon Rider and Fire Lizard. We can't use Fire Lizard's uh, fanfare, but oh well. And then we can attack directly, taking her down to three damage or three health. Yeah, we got this one, guys. We got this one. The vampires are going down. They are going to be ours now. I'm still interested in trying them out, but like I said, doing damage to yourself to do damage to the enemy, I'm not a fan of that playstyle. Eventually, I will find a class that I, I do enjoy. I mean, I do enjoy the runecraft, but I don't want to play with them if they're uh, OP. Because this does four to everyone. This will wipe out- yeah, I'm just going to use this. Wipe out the field except for Dread Dragon, and go ahead and attack, and we win, guys. Yeah, I, I gotta say, we're, we're we're doing a lot better at this game now. We're starting to get the hang of it. Victory! Alright, now it should tell us... Okay, yeah, we level up. Get a new card. We got, um... This is... Oh, Grim Reaper. Nice. It's a dragon card, though. Grim Reaper makes it sound like it'd be a, a vampire or a necromancer. Looking pretty sick, though. Looking pretty sick. And then... Yeah, now we can make a vampire class deck. Nice, nice. So one other thing I was wondering about, and definitely let me know in the comments, uh, can you have dual type decks in Shadowverse? Or is it just, you have a vampire deck, you can't put any other cards in? I feel like the way it's played, it makes more sense that you can only have one deck, or like one class in a deck. But I do like in other games like Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, where you can, um, you can kind of do a mix of cards and see how different classes can work together. Oh, you're so strong. I was really surprised. Perhaps, maybe you can beat that person. Oh, is she gonna tell us about Kai too? Are you talking about that kid? Oh, that first year in class A? Yeah, that guy in front of the stage. Oh, in front of the shadow bus stadium. Maybe he would wanna join. Oh, okay, so yeah, that's where Kai is. Cause that one person did say, I think he already went home. So he's in front of the station in front of the Shadow Bus Stadium, which does show, as we were predicting, we are going to be able to go to the Shadow Bus Stadium in the game. 
Yeah, maybe he'll become a club member. Good luck. Ganbattene. Oh. Perhaps. Maybe we should go to the battle club st or the, the the shadow bus stadium. Yeah, I'm gonna go there too. In order to meet the, oh, that's where the people that love Shadow Bow the most are gonna be at. Yeah, it makes sense. They're gonna be at the stadium if they love Shadow Bow. I know I would. If I lived in this world, I'd be at the stadium all the time. Ever since you guys came, a lot of the different things have been changing. Oh, sorry. No, nothing. Okay, so once you leave the shopping district, it's in front of the station, and it's off to your left. Okay, so to get the shopping district, in front of the school gates, just go straight ahead, or no, straight down. Oh, okay, so it's giving us some directions here. Yeah, this is where the Let's Play would definitely come in handy for anyone that wants to play that doesn't know Japanese. Because, I mean, yeah, they have the markers uh, to show you where to go. But a lot of it is going to be the characters telling you, like, how to get there in Japanese. So that's why I'm here to try to help you guys, you know. Alright, so we said the front of school, so we gotta go out here. And then we just go straight ahead. And then here we are. So this is going to be the shopping district, so we're, we're not to the stadium just yet. But he said go through, and then was it a left? Now nah, I can't even remember what he said. Oh, well, we have the markers there to help us. But yeah, I'm liking the shopping district area too. It, it's looking really nice. Like overall, like, I'm surprised by how, uh, by how this game actually looks. I thought it was seriously just going to be a card game where you just play the card game and that's it. But the fact that there's RPG elements to it and kind of an open world aspect to it, is so amazing. You guys gotta check this game out. Okay, so this, yeah, this will be the stadium. Man. Yeah, the, the whole world they developed here, it just, it looks futuristic, and yeah, it's it's nice. Kind of makes me think of, um, not Domino City in Yu-Gi-Oh, but like new Domino City uh, in 5Ds, where everything looks more futuristic. All right, so yeah, this is the way of the battle stadium. Yeah, eventually I do want to just uh, explore this area, just talk to everyone and go through all that, but I figured for the Let's Play that'd be kind of boring. Oh, it's Alice in her disguise. She was trying to take a break. She was looking for a place to hide. I mean, she is a pop star. This is like her disguise that she uses in the show to go around. And then we meet her. So it's like loosely based on the show. Like there's elements of the show in here, but... Oh, sorry for running into you. I was a little bit in a hurry. So during her break time, what should she do? Oh no, where'd she go? Yaba. Yeah, yeah, that's another way to say it. I always say yabai yeah, or yabe, yeah, but you can just say yaba. Yeah, Which you guys don't remember, it just means it's what you say whenever something's bad, like something bad is about to happen. Okay, so one more thing, sorry, but uh, there's something I want. I want you to hide me. I'm gonna hide over there when the person comes. Tell her that you haven't seen me, please. Oh yeah, she's she's playing really sneaky now. She's the one in the show that uses that card I mentioned, a uh, zombeagle, where it's like a zombie beagle, like a zombie dog. It's it's pretty funny. Ugh. She just goes around. Wait. She just goes wherever she wants to go, as she pleases. Um, excuse me, but can I ask you something? In this area, was there a... 
a, little, a girl with, um, they're saying twin tails. I guess that's the, um, the hairstyle where you have, like, the two things there. I think they just call them, isn't that just pigtails? But yeah, twin tails. So have you seen her? Oh, you, you can actually say that you have seen her. Oh, no, we haven't. Yeah, and she has the little... Okay, so I'm wondering if, like, this is one of those things where the things that you say actually affect the game in any way. Like, maybe if you said you had seen her, then she ends up not liking you later on or something like that. Um, you haven't seen her? Oh, sorry. My phone. Yes, yes. Okay, I got it. Yes. Excuse me. Sorry. But something came up, so I have to go now. Sorry. Here's my business card. Meishi. We got the Keino Manager Meishi. Keino, is that... I guess that's the name of the company that Alice works for. So if you do see her, please let me know. Sorry, we're on Alice's side, lady. We're, we're not going to let you know. We have seen her. We're already lying to you. Keino Jimisho... Oh yeah, the Keino office manager is what's written on the card he was just reading it oh, that was dangerous that was dangerous that was risky um you're bad at lying <laughs> i guess yeah i guess our response wasn't it was kind of like i don't think i've seen her essentially to that to that extent which isn't a very good lie She's saying that, uh, she's like, okay, I don't, I don't hate people that lie. So what are you doing, Oni-chan? Oh, she, yeah, we're, we just told her that we're looking for people that, that, uh, can join the Shadow Book Club. She may actually be someone that joins. I don't know if she actually goes to our school, though. No way. Really? Yes, yes, I want to join. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. You have to be... He's telling her that you have to be a student at the, um... Tensai Academy. Anyway, bye, Oni-chan. Thanks for helping me. So, yeah, she's she's a main character in the show. We'll see her again. She may not join the club, but we'll see her again. I was gonna say Sayonara, but... I have a feeling that we'll meet again. Yeah, so if you don't know Sayonara, it's like... People just think that just means bye in Japanese, but that literally is like what you would say as like a farewell Like if you're not planning on seeing that person for a while Um, Janne is just something you'd say kind of like see you see, see you soon So she was saying I was gonna say sayonara like I'm not gonna see you again But I have a feeling we'll see her again or she's saying she'll have a feeling she'll see us again She's cute, but what a weird girl <laughs> I feel like that's a lot of people's reaction to her Okay, so let's go inside the Shadow Bus Stadium. Let's do this. Alright, yeah, it looks really, like, just like in the show. So on the inside, I'm guessing, like, I'm wondering whenever you battle here, if it looks any different. Because, like I said, in the show, whenever they battle here, that's when the monsters actually appear, like, in Yu-Gi-Oh! Whenever they battle with, like, the dual stadiums. This place is looking really legit. I just love the aesthetics, like, the world that they've created here. It's just like the world in the anime, and it just, it looks awesome. So sp specifically, if you guys have seen the anime, you have to check this game out. Alright, I guess we gotta register, maybe? Hey, hey, welcome to the Shadow Bus Stadium! She's the- wait... Kanban Uketsuke What? This is so weird, it's the mix of nurse and receptionist. She's the nurse receptionist? Her name is Mai? Nice to meet you. She's like a Nurse Joy slash receptionist. <laughs> oh, you have the face that you want to ask me something. Or that you want to say something. Yeah, that, that's what the option is. Nurse receptionist? Honestly, I have no clue what she just said there. <laughs> I know the words, but I'm not sure how they how they go together. All right, so she's calling us a newbie, Shinjin. So do you want to know about the Shadow Book Club? Or the, the Shadow Book Stadium? 
or do you know about it? And we're saying we don't. So she's like, okay, so I'll go ahead and explain. Are you ready? Okay. So this is where the shadow bow players gather in order to get stronger. There's three things that you can do here. Shokaku Gatoru, Puzzle Quest, Rensho Challenge. Okay, so the Rensho Challenge, that <laughs> challenge, the Rensho Challenge is like, I guess, where you have to comp Like, the way the Rensho is, it's essentially you just keep battling until you lose. Puzzle Quest, that makes sense. I mean, that's just like in Yu Gi Oh! and other card games where they have a specific duel setup and you have to win in one turn, I'm assuming. The Shokaku Baturu. Um, that one's probably just, uh, Shokaku. I think that might actually be an advancement battle to, like, advance your rank. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. That's where Kanji so comes in handy. Like, that show, I know that for, um, Shokyu, it's just, like, a, a pay raise. So I feel like I knew it was going to be a raise, so I figured it'd be a raise in rank. So yeah, Shokaku battle, you can raise your rank. It's a very important battle. You have to win it in order to raise your rank. Puzzle quest, yeah, there's a certain, or you can challenge it, if you can solve it, or she's like, can you solve it? Alright, and then you have five battles for the Ren Show challenge. Yeah, so you just have to, have to win five in a row. Alright, and that's the explanation. You got it? Wakata. It's another very important Japanese word, wakata. It literally just means, like, I understand, but, uh... A lot of, you just hear it a lot of times like, oh, got it, got it. Okay. Mai's explanation power. She's talking about her explanation power. Alright, so good luck with the uh, Shadowba Stadium. Aim for the future of Master Rank. Okay, is there anything else we want to ask? Ask me anything. Um, do you know any strong players? That's what we're gonna ask her. She's probably gonna tell us about Kai, maybe? Strong players... Oh yeah, Ijuin Kai-kun! Yep, we're gonna battle him. He comes here all the time, or he comes here... He always comes here around this time. Oh, that's right. So while he's waiting, or while you're waiting for him, go ahead and talk with other people. It looks like that guy over there is a little bit worried. Yeah, that's just Ray. He's always like that, though. So we're gonna have to go talk with him first, it looks like. What's up, Ray? Why oh, you look so down in the dumps, buddy? What should I do? I'm worried. Does he have some kind of, like, past experience with the, with the Shadow Bus Stadium? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking. Oh, don't worry about it. The truth is, well, there's something I want to check out. If it's okay, could you come with me? Yeah, let's go with them. Thanks. You you really really helped me. So in the stadium, Cody space got the. So there's a place here that you can practice, or you, that you can study. I want to go there, but I, uh, if there's people there I don't know, I'm not good with people I don't know. Oh, okay, so he's just really shy. Poor guy. We'll definitely help him out. So he wants us to go check it out first. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Raise request. Um, so is it gonna explain to us where it's at though? Let's go ahead and get these items real quick first. Got some gold. And another classic card pack. So yeah, it looks like right now we can only get the classic card packs. Oh, it's not actually letting us go in there. There's some kind of strange force blocking us. So I guess let's uh Let's just keep walking around. Well, I'm sure we'll find the area he's talking about eventually. Maybe we have to... Oh. No reason to go in there is what it said. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and check the map. Press the minus button here. It's really not giving us any area to go next. What does it actually say? Oh, the lobby. Go to the, the training space in the lobby. Oh, okay. Is it maybe... Yeah, I gotta find out what all of these, like, symbols actually mean. Wait, is it actually just here? No, that's the battle zone. Maybe we do need to go here, though. No, no, no. No reason to go here now. Uh, let's go ahead and see. That's the Rensho. That's the puzzle. That's just the card vendor. The girl that likes zombies. Yeah, that's, that's not gonna be it either. fortune telling girl maybe it's this area nah that's just the shop girl oh i wonder if it's this check mark it's got to be this check mark i don't know how i didn't notice that the first time this is the shadow bug guide okay maybe not hey welcome welcome oh yeah no this is the code of you space okay here's where you can learn about shadow Oh, it looks like you're new. Is your new face here? If it's okay, let's go ahead and study. In Shadowbud, there are eight classes. So picking the class is very important. Oh, is that it? So she's a very nice person. Let's return to Ray and let him know. Yeah, so she just gave us a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of information on Shadow Butt, but we were really just wanting to find out what kind of person she was so we can tell Ray. Okay, back at Ray now. Oh, oh, you're back. How did it go? Yeah, she was nice. Don't worry about it, my dude. Oh, I see. So she seemed like a nice person. That's good. Thanks. I want you to have this. Is it a card pack? It's gold. And a card. What is this one? Twin prisoner from? Interesting. Interesting name from. Oh, here's another one. Twin prisoner Grass. Or Glass. He gave us three of each. Interesting. I didn't even see what types those were, like what class they were. Anyway, I'm gonna go check it out right now. Alright, Matane. See you later. Alright, so we just helped out Ray here. Okay, the green icons are the quest icons. Oh, okay, so those aren't going to have the same markers. That's why that one was a, uh, a green check mark instead of the usual, like, yellowish-orange one we normally see. Alright, so the main menu is where you can access the quests. Okay, so we got side quests here, too. I didn't know that was going to be part of the game, either. Okay, here's Kai. We can finally get to Kai. Oh, yeah, it looks like Kai's come here. Thanks for letting us know, Mai. Our character was literally looking away. He had no clue that Kai even came by. Alright, so go through this gate to the battle zone, and uh, good luck. Yeah, so I guess we're going to battle Kai right away. Let's do this. I'm going to say, I'm going to beat you in seven turns. He says that in the show, too. He'll, he'll predict how many turns it's going to take to beat him. Yeah, I love the amount of cutscenes, uh, like anime cutscenes in this game. And these aren't from the anime, these are, like, original to the game. They put a lot into this game, seriously, though. I can't believe I lost to a first year. Of course you did. Because... I'm a super genius. Okay, so yeah, this looks like the, uh, Tensai Gakuen uh, first year student. Let's go ahead and talk with him. Oh, look at the way the battle... Okay, so you can't really see the monsters, but you are seeing that their cards are, like, appearing before them. This is so cool, guys. This is so cool. I wish I lived in a Shadow Bow world. I want, I want to go to the stadium and play with them. Oh, that's so cool. It looks like we have an item up here. We can literally just walk onto the, the field while they're playing. I have a feeling in, in the actual Shadow Bow world, they, uh, they probably have rules against that. Like, dude, get off the field. I'm trying to play. All right, so Ray or Kai's not battling anyone right now, so we can go ahead and talk with them. Huh? You are. 
You're Ijui and Kai Kun, aren't you? Huh? You know my name. Hmm. What in the world do you want with me? You want me to join the Shadow Book Club? Hmm, I see. I think he said you got a lot of nerve asking me about it. But I refuse. We had to we had to beat him first. He said he's never been beaten before, just like in the show. So if we beat him, then he's gotta join. First of all. Wait, Shadow Bob. Okay, first of all, it it's he just doesn't like the idea. It seems strange of a Shadow Book Club. Oh, because he's heard he's saying you haven't heard the rumors. Oh man. So I guess there is something bad. It has to do with Ray, I'm sure. He doesn't he doesn't want to deal with any people that we ha haven't proven themselves to him. How should I prove myself? It's gonna be a shadow of a battle. It's decided. With Shadow Ba. Battle me, and if you win, you'll prove yourself to me. Here it goes, guys. The battle with Ray. Kai is a very strong player. Are we ready to battle him? Oh, man. I mean, we haven't even really set up a deck or anything yet. I'll try him. If we lose, then in the next episode, we'll go ahead and start with deck construction, and then we'll take him on again. Huh. So you do wish to battle me. Okay. And your name is? It's Jesus. Hmm. Jesus. Doesn't have a bad ring to it. It has a nice ring to it. <laughs> Interesting. Alright, go ahead and show me. Show me your power. But you're gonna lose because of my... Basically, his super genius strategies. Battle? Shadowverse. Let's do this. I am pumped about this battle, guys. And I get to see... Does he have portal craft? I, I can't really remember. That was another one where I've only seen him battle once in the show. And it was when I didn't really know much about the game in general. So I didn't even, I didn't even think to see. He's got witch cards? Oh, okay. That makes sense. He's one of my favorite characters. And he uses, you know... I guess currently my favorite. I, I've just only played with witch on the mobile app. So I don't know if I could say it's my favorite favorite. It's just kind of the one I've used the most other than these dragon craft cards but I gotta say the dragon craft I love dragons but this is not my cup of tea also I feel like I should mention it looks like I'm just wearing a black t-shirt but it actually has a really cool design on it it is Vegeta Stewie I got this at a uh um like a comic-con all right so can't do anything on our first turn but yeah, Vegeta's like my favorite Dragon Ball Z character, hands down, and Stewie's... Mm, maybe not my all-time favorite, but he's like up there with my favorite Family Guy characters. Alright, so let's go ahead and summon... just fighter. Just our neutral fighter here. Alright, what do you got, Kai? What do you got? So yeah, he's gonna be using a lot of spells. That is one thing, I at least know how the witches work a little bit. So I can kind of develop strategy based on that, maybe. We could do four damage to him right now. And finally, I guess we're, we're kind of past the beginning tutorial parts of this game. If you guys have noticed, we have we both have 20 health now. They're finally putting us up against opponent where we're on an even playing field. I guess at this point in their game, they're like, yeah, by this point, you're probably pretty good at this game. So we'll go ahead and make it more even. Yeah, he's really not playing any cards, but I know he's getting that spell boost. That's the thing. So we can go ahead and summon, um, what is this one, Dragon Warrior? What was his again? Okay, so when he has Overflow, he gets two, so we'll have that in three turns, so probably not going to mess with it now, but we're just going to attack directly while we can. Okay, Kai might actually be very easy. He could turn things around here. He's just getting that spell boost. Oh, he sent it to our hand. Summons a Golem. Evolves the golem. Oh man, yeah, bye. Okay, he took out Dragon Warrior like it was nothing. Okay, so what are we gonna do here? We have five. I guess we can go ahead and do two damage to the golem. Go ahead and knock him out. Then we have four left. Uh, let's go ahead and summon Flying Dragon. And do another two damage. I feel like I need to evolve at some point. Um, 
Probably evolve. Let's see, we have two more until we can get Dread Dragon out, but I feel like I'm probably going to evolve Dread Dragon once I get him. Dread Dragon, as far as the Dragoncraft deck, it's it's kind of become one of my favorites. I wonder when we get the Ignis Dragon, which is like a hero, like the main character's um, main card. So we have six, so we could do two of these. And then... Huh. Well, we can't attack directly with this one. What's his evolution? Okay, so once we have Overflow, he'll get Ward. So next turn, he'll get Ward. I'm going to go ahead and evolve him. I think this will be a good decision overall. And just go right through him. Although I feel like the snowmen are probably going to target me next turn. Wait, is there something? Oh, never mind. I was about to say, normally to like let us know if we're about to end our turn with uh, with when we still have cards that we can use. Oh, yikes. He just took it out. He didn't even have to attack with the snowman. He took it out in one shot. One spell card. Okay, so we'll at least... So those are direct attacks. So we still have... Flying Dragon out with Ward now. Um, now we can get out Dread Dragon. Or should I save Dread Dragon? I'm gonna go ahead and summon this one now. This is a Dragon Guard. Um, we, so we can still attack directly. I'm just gonna attack directly. We're just gonna overwhelm them with the direct attacks. Chrono Witch. That's a cool one. Oh, they actually... Bro, they have summoning animation for some of the well-known cards. That is so sick. This game just keeps surprising me. It's just, it's even cooler that this was a game I just didn't even know about. I literally just turned on my Switch one day and it was like, oh yeah, there's this new card game. And then here I am just enjoying the heck out of it. This is awesome. Okay, go ahead and summon Dragon Rider and then we'll go ahead and attack directly. I feel like next turn we're going to end it. Because if he doesn't kill Dragon Rider, I mean, even right now, he's got Overflow, so he's at four attacks, so we can knock him out if we just attack directly. There's no telling what he's going to do with the spell cards. Okay, yeah, never mind. Oh, man. 8-8? Eight, eight. Bro. Bro, now I need that card that does the six damage. Okay, no, I can... Okay, I can go ahead and to do two damage with this. And then does Dread Dragon do four? Please tell me he does four. He does four. Okay, summoning Dread Dragon, and we're gonna knock him out in one. There we go, there we go. Uh, probably going to go ahead and evolve him too. So he's at six, six. What is his evolution ability? He doesn't have an ev evolution ability. Oh, okay. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and take out the Golem. He'll do two damage to us, but. We at least cleaned out his field. But what's he gonna do now? He's got five cards in his hand. Summons two golems. Evolves one of them. Okay, he gets Dread Dragon. Yikes. We're running out of cards in our hand too. Come on, we need a good, a good uh, strong follower. Oh, we got Fafniel. Does two damage to every follower? Yeah, every follower. Except ourselves, of course. Um, so we got 8-8. Eight, eight. I wish I could evolve him now. I'd get him at 10-12. That would be insane. Um, so we're just gonna have to wait for the next turn. If he doesn't knock us out, or get us at least down to 4 health, I can use that one card to do 4 damage to everyone, wipe out his field, and then attack him directly. Or just attack him directly anyway. Which is what's gonna happen. Here we go, we won. Man, drawing Fafniel in the end there was so clutch. Yeah, here's the game. We just beat Kai on our first try, guys. That's that's definitely a sign that we're getting better at this. Nice. We win. We win. Good battle. It was a good battle. And now we can use the witch class. So we got witch class and blood or a vampire class in the same episode. Nice. Those are the two I'm wanting to try out. Oof. Yay. 
<laughs> no way, you beat him? That was an that was an awesome battle. Even the uh, OG son here, the, the old dude, is like, yeah, great battle. Even the cat's like, yeah. You, I, I lost. I thought I was saying it's because the move on the third turn. No, that was a good move. So maybe it was the five turn or the fifth turn. Yeah, he's just thinking, where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? So he's just praising us on how we can, how we can, our ability to play the cards. So he's just saying that he missed a lot of chances, I guess. So now we have the name of genius now. Oh, so he's gonna... So now he's asking us to please let him join the club. Nice. So right away, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and talk about club life. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna be fun. Okay, yeah, this is why I like Kai. In the show, he's like, I'm a super genius. Then Hiro beats him. He's like, Hiro, you're so awesome. I want to be your friend now. <laughs> hey, Mimori. So how did it go? Um, it's no good. Kazuki-kun? Yeah, no good. Everyone's already in the clubs. Yeah, as I thought, it's no use. And then here comes Jesus saving the day. But... Oh yeah, he just slide it. It's like, what's up guys? Yeah, I found somebody to join the club. He's a genius. Excuse me. I'm the first class, or first year A class, Ijuin Kai. And I'm here to join the Shadow Book Club. A new club member? Oh, that's that's awesome. Yeah, you said it. I, I knew I, I believed in you, Jesus. Because I'm a genius. From now on, nice to meet you. G genius? Yeah, before I was a super genius. Now he's just a genius. That's what he's saying. Oh, okay. So he got he got lowered from super genius to just genius. I don't really understand it, but okay. I'm Shindo Kazuki. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, Shindo Kazuki. Hmm? I am Ryugasaki Hiro. This is Mimori, and this is Rei. Nice to meet you guys. The gang's all here, and we get one more member. I'm wondering who it's going to be. I'm hoping it's Lucia. We haven't seen him at all in the game yet. Oh, wait, stop. Is this, is this okay? Wait, what? Oh, calling each other by full names. Oh, okay. That's what he's, he's worrying about. He only calls, or only people that have proven themselves to him can call him by his name, not his full name. Interesting. That's a strange rule, isn't it? Oh, is it? Oh, I thought it was good. Th this, this guy. <laughs> Don't make that stupid face at me. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Oh, yeah, I forgot in the show, too, they have a little bit of rivalry going on here. No way, so we actually found another club member? So we just have to find one more. But... Yeah, Ray's got some kind of secret going on. I don't know, maybe he's cursed or something. Oh, it's nothing. Anyway. Ijuin Kaikun. So I actually know about him. He's a strong player. How did, you, how did you invite him over here? How did you get him to change his mind? You beat him in a battle? Wow. So good. Can I, can I see your deck? Was he going to give us better cards? Or why is he wanting to look at our deck now? It looks like he just put it in his pocket. Oh, no, here he goes. Hmm, I see. Good. Yeah, you did good. But this is this card's kind of weak, so you probably put a stronger card in there. And this card, too. If you want to win, you got to do this. 
Okay, for example, so he's helping us out with our uh, deck construction here, it looks like. Maybe that's Ray's ability, like he's just really good at deck construction. Oh, sorry. I'm doing it again. Oh, wait, did he make did he make team members, or like the club members leave because he was just an overanalyzing their decks? Oh, I'm sorry. And now he's just gonna leave. Jesus, can you believe this the crazy stuff he's saying? I didn't say anything stupid. You're just I just said you made that stupid face. <laughs> you said it again? Yeah, it looks like things are getting serious here. But we got another friend. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do our best. Alright guys, so if it's going to set me in a place where I can save, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. What a great episode overall. I'm getting so, I just get so pumped about this game the more I play it. Oh, there's a delicious looking meal here and a letter. So it's, um, what is it, Kobayashi? Oh, that was really, really good. It was a busy day, so uh, I'm going to bed. Are right, we going to get our text from Hero again. Oh no, it's from uh, Kai. Do you have any complaints, Shindo Kazuki? Yeah, uh, Kazuki, I guess, is just like, oh, it's him again? He's even in the group chat? No, 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 nothing like that. Wait, who is. I guess this is one of the cards. Like, interesting emote. Oh, uh, let's, let's, let's be, let's be friends, guys. Yeah, yeah, we're in the sh we're the same Shadow Book Club. Oh, Onaji Shadow Book Nakama. No, we're we're the same Shadow Book friends. <laughs> Kazuki's just like, I got it. What got do? She, <laughs> Mimori's just like, that's a lot of exclamation points. Bikuri Mark. So if we find one more, then we'll be able to prove ourselves as the club, and they won't be disbanded anymore. So let's go ahead and uh, good luck for looking for another club member tomorrow. Ooh. Uh, Kai has a plan. Wait, what is it? What is it? Tomorrow after school, the, let's talk in the club room. But for now, let's just go ahead and sleep. Anyway, Jesus. Jesus song. And everyone. And Shindo Kazuki. Good night. <laughs> and we say good night. And then Kazuki, I think, is just saying, why, why did you just tag me on the end there? <laughs> oh, man, Kai's hilarious. Yeah, Kai's plan sounds really fun. Yeah, it does. All right, got it. Let's have fun, guys. Or I look forward to it, guys. All right, time to sleep. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oyasumi. So we got a new club member. Tomorrow should be fun. But for now, let's just go ahead and go to sleep. Is it going to give us a chance to save? Surely in the morning it will. Oh, we're going right into chapter three. The last person, Saigo no Hitori. All right, and then Kobayashi's gonna call us down, then we can save. Oh, Kazuki's here, he's at our room. Excuse me. That voice, Kazuki? Why did he come here? So I guess in the game, Kazuki's your best friend instead of Hiro's best friend, like in the show. Good morning! Oh no, everyone's here, never mind. Well, except for Hiro, because we replaced him as the main character. I can't believe we just, we just barged in like this. Oh, Jesus-kun. Sorry for coming in the morning. Now we're in front of the room. He didn't even realize it. He said, this isn't the image he had of our room. Everything's organized. Yeah, that's right. But isn't it bad if we just look around? He said that he was excited. Don't say that you're excited. He was just excited to look in our room. I don't say that either. You're late. Uh oh. Oh, Kai's waiting outside. Oh no, he's not saying you're late. He's saying you're being slow. All right, so if we're ready, let's go ahead and go. We'll be waiting outside. 
I'm, I'm really, really sorry for, for barging in like this. <laughs> She's apologizing for what Kazuki said as well. Alright, we're ready to go to school. Today should be busy. Okay, yeah, now I'm gonna save here. Alright, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and make sure you, sus you subscribe if you want to see some more uh, Shadowverse content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Library Jesus, out.